And now live team coverage from the Outer Banks. Waves there could reach over 10 feet. Another major concern is beach erosion. Yeah, 10 on your side, Jason Marks is live in Buxton. And Jason, tell us what you're seeing. Guys, we have been seeing a steady uh, building of the ocean all day long. I can tell you, Dare County officials are not really that concerned. I mean, they are really keeping a close eye on it, but they don't want to scare anybody with this storm. They're saying just keep a close eye on things right now. Let me show you the waves, and you can see they really started to build throughout the day. We have seen this throughout the whole entire bo uh, banks. We're here in in uh, Buxton, but we were down in Kill Devil Hills earlier today, and we saw the same thing. We were stopped by the uh, Avalon Fishing Pier, and you can see some people are out uh, trying to make the most of their beautiful day. It was a gorgeous day. Uh, a lot of people were fishing, but the rip currents, they were out, and so were the red flags, and thus meaning that no one could go swimming because of those dangerous conditions. I talked with a Nags Head resident who tells me he's going to be watching closely to see what this storm does over the next 24 hours. Usually when the storms come up here and come out the coast, it doesn't cause too much trouble for most of the residents here, but the people you know, in Kitty Hawk and, the, and Hatteras down there, they can get nailed and flooding's really a big deal. Flooding is always an issue here on Hatteras Island, uh, depending on what kind of storm we get. Dare County officials uh, tell me they are optimistic about this. They are cautious but optimistic. They are going to really watch and see what happens. I can tell you that right now there are no plans for any evacuations at this point. Everyone's kind of just hoping that that storm will continue to move off the coast and just really skirt the Outer Banks. So we're hoping to get through this without any issues. Now, coming up tonight at 6, we'll give you another live look at what's going on here in Buxton. For now, that's the latest on Hatteras Island. Jason Marks, 10 on your side.